welcome to Class Cuisine, where I eat my way through Costco for you. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Costco Kirkland Signature Tiramisu Cake. This cake was actually discontinued for a few months over the summer um, because they introduced a key lime cake at my local Costco, so I'm really glad to see that it's back. The best before date on the cake is about five days from the date that I purchased it, and it's found in the refrigerated bakery section. So you need to bring this home and refrigerate it. The cost of the cake is $16.99 Canadian, and it serves about 10 to 12 people. Now I'm gonna take the lid off the cake, show you what it looks like, cut a slice, and we can talk about the different layers. you my piece of Costco Kirkland Signature Tiramisu cake. There are three layers of a plain white cake that's been brushed with coffee and then there's also three layers of icing. The ingredients list states that there's mascarpone cheese, cream cheese, and whipped cream but it's hard to tell whether the top layer also has the cream cheese and mascarpone or if the layers are different. I'm gonna taste it now. It's hard to tell whether the top layer is at all different than the layers of icing in between the layers of cake, but overall this is delicious. It's very light tasting, very creamy. It's sweet, um, but not overly so. It's really, really delicious. It tastes like tiramisu that I've had at restaurants in the past. And you know, we went to Italy a few years ago and it's pretty comparable to tiramisu that I had in Italy as well. Um, really, really enjoyed that they use real cream in the icing. I can tell that it's not artificial, which I really appreciate. And that's probably one of the reasons why it needs to be refrigerated, right? Most cakes um, that require refrigeration are made with real whipped, whip, real whipped cream, which is definitely a bonus because it tastes so much better. Um, there's also, I forgot to mention, but there's these cute little chocolate covered espresso beans it looks like on top or coffee beans so and then there's like a little dollop of mm, definitely a different icing like just a plain vanilla icing on top there's a dollop of that so overall if you're a tiramisu fan or you want something a little bit lighter this is delicious I said that this tastes like tiramisu that I've had at a local restaurant or when we traveled to Italy let me make something clear. This is not traditional tiramisu. Um, traditional tiramisu is lady fingers soaked in coffee, and this is a cake. But the flavors are very similar to tiramisu that I've had. So I really enjoyed it, but it is different. So you need to understand that this is a cake version that Costco has come up with. Um, another difference is that tiramisu usually has like a pretty, you know, generous coating of cocoa powder on top. This just has like a tiny sprinkling of cocoa powder and you can't even really taste it. If you're a household of two people like we are, this can be a pretty big cake for two people to finish within five days. So we freeze this all the time and it freezes perfectly. Uh, one easy thing that you can do when you freeze the cake is pre-slice it. So slice it all the way down into your uh, slices and put the whole kind of container in the freezer. And then when you want to slice, it's easy to just put a fork in or a knife in, break off a piece to thaw. I contacted Costco to get the nutrition information for the tiramisu cake. And in one eighth of the cake or a 153 gram serving, there's 460 calories, 29 grams of fat, 30 grams of sugar, one gram of fiber, 320 milligrams of sodium, and 44 grams of carbohydrates. 
I was not able to get the protein information, but let's be honest, you're not eating a piece of cake hoping to get a lot of protein from it. Just to give you an idea of the serving size that Costco uh, provides the nutritional information for, the cake that I have in front of me and have been using in the video is about half of that serving size. I really enjoyed the Costco Kirkland Signature Tiramisu cake. I think that it's light, it's flavorful, delicious. I think a lot of people would really enjoy it, so I would definitely serve it at a dinner party or bring it to some kind of gathering. And I absolutely love and appreciate that they use real whipped cream. This is a must buy item from Costco. Another cake that I've reviewed from Costco is the Kirkland Signature Tuxedo Cake. And you can see that review by clicking the link beside me. I have to say, although I love the tiramisu cake, I absolutely definitely prefer the tuxedo cake. That one just can't be beat. That's it for my review of the Costco Kirkland Signature Tiramisu Cake. If you like this review, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If you'd like to see more Costco food reviews, visit my blog, costcuisine.com. You can follow me on social media by searching for Cost Cuisine on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. Thanks for watching and stay tuned as I keep eating my way through Costco for you.